versus prey. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inaugural episode of Do You. Oh, I Can you hear us? I believe it's is it working. Beers, booze, and bros is, is the fucking title you look at. We're all getting new to this, so here we go. I'm joined by Austin, Corey, and myself, Matt. And uh, I'm taking these headphones off. I can't hear nothing. Well, you, you're just supposed to have one ear in, you stupid. I can't even hear anything. You can't hear like that? No, I you can't, can't hear our, me. Our oh, on the, in the, the headphones. The headphones. Yeah. Well, then just fucking take, take them, them off, off, I guess. It's not going to work, and we'll see how the audio goes. It looks like we have to sit closer because I can see the screen. Yeah, the sound uh, is not sound quite. Is... There we go. At least mine's getting picked up. How about mine? Yeah, yours is going. Yeah, yours that was really loud. All right. So, uh, to start this podcast off, let's uh, do a shot of Patron. Cheers, boy. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that's not too shabby. Yeah. Chasing it down with uh, tonight's beer of choice. So, uh, what's it called, Corey? Oh, it is Himalayan salted caramel porter from Old Yale Brewing. Is what we're going to be drinking today. It's actually not too bad. It's got a nice hint of caramel and coffee. Coffee. I taste a lot of coffee in this. Yeah. It's my first porter, and I kind of approve of it. You got one, Austin? No, man. I got the uh, bottle of Barefoot Moscato wine. Uh, $10 get, special. Let's, uh, let's get you a glass. Sweet as shit. Yep. Yeah, Moscato is super sweet. I, know. I couldn't find a box of uh, white wine. Gold. Couldn't find a box. <laughs> couldn't find a box. <laughs> Not, a box. <laughs> Not a bottle. Couldn't find a box. Well, yeah, he was, he was still working on uh, the box of wine I got from the wedding. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. He just ate uh, what, what was left over. No, Vicky gave me a whole box. Nice. <laughs> That's what, like, uh, Sarah's parents, they provided all this alcohol for her cousin's wedding. And we asked him to bring some booze over for Oliver's first birthday. Yeah. And it was, like, a four-foot tub just full of booze from the wedding. They're like, yeah, we got a box of red wine. Do you want it? I was like, I'll drink it. Well, yeah, I showed up and asked who brought the green sack. <laughs> yeah. It was just sitting had, on the uh, counter. I had a buddy over last weekend. We decided we'd go into the box of wine. Yeah, Monday was pretty rough. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your 19 year old apprentices like weren't liking it. Wine hangover. No. <laughs> Got in the car, I was like, you're driving today. <laughs> yeah. Not too bad. Okay, what's the first topic here, Randy? What do you want to. What do we want to discuss? Um, I think, well, as of uh, last night, Seattle destroyed Houston. Uh, 5 nothing on aggregate. Looks like we're having a rematch of last year. Yeah, Toronto versus like Seattle. The worst final in the world. Yeah. Let's just well, hold it nothing, nothing into a shootout through two. No shots on net. Yeah, no shots on net. Toronto got one shot on net, I think. Yeah. Fry with the wonder tape. <laughs> and it, the worst part is, I fucking hate both teams. I hate both teams. I just, love, I just love Javinko. Yeah. <laughs> He's my boy. <laughs> How? Proving it that everybody that's under five foot eight can play soccer and, and yeah. be a go- top goal scorer. Leo usually, Messi proved that. Usually all Go the best Vinko. best players are under six feet. That's uh, true. A lot of Ronaldo's exception, but like everybody else that isn't a center back or goalkeeper are normally under six foot. My boy Harry Kane. Yeah, he's under six foot. Is he under six foot? I don't he's know. Like Let's look it up foot. right now. I think he's Let's about six foot. <laughs> Let's look. What about Jamie Vardy? What's he at? Yeah. He's got to be 5'11". He's, he's at way under that. <laughs> is he? Oh, yeah. Jamie Vardy? He's no, he's so much bigger. No than way he's that they tall. Do. Harry Kane looks like maybe just everyone in soccer is fucking short. Yeah. So the guys and, who are like 5'9 look yeah. huge. Maybe us regular folk, 5'7", suck. <laughs> See, I was so bad. I had to stop playing soccer when I was like seven years old. Oh, so I oh sorry. My bad. Harry Kane, 6'2". 6'2". What about Lukaku? He's huge. Monster. Vardy. Let me get Vardy here. Vardy 5'10". 5'10". Yeah, see? Under six foot. Jamie Vardy has a party. No one six foot plus is invited. <sighs> are you looking at the scores from this week, too? Plus yeah. You, are you from the weekend? Yeah. yeah. We'll get a solid 4-2 win over mm-hmm. Watford there. Yeah. Man United. Yeah. Solid loss to Leicester. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that Three any day. Three games in a row. We've gotten a possible, I think, in our last, like, Five games, we've gotten four out of 15 points. Yeah, you guys dropped down to seventh. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Big Sam there. <laughs> We're all getting... Uh, Everton. Well, they're sitting 13th now. They're actually not doing too bad. Didn't Bruin just have a 
filthy Florida sniper game. Hattie or something like that. Yeah, yeah I heard yeah. his last goal was just disgusting. Guys still got it. Yeah. Well, yeah, he scored a, his PK. He, uh, Hart parried it, and then he headed it in. And then the next goal, he slotted it in after a ball was played across the six. It's got him because he's off the booze train. Yeah, yeah. maybe. <laughs> the DUI is putting the damper on it. Yeah, it really <laughs> killed his mojo. <laughs> Made his fucking soccer career revitalized, though. For a little bit. And then he scored a cracker from the past half. Yeah. That's what I heard. All right, so yeah, we were talking MLS. Yeah, MLS. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got off track real quick. <laughs> My boy Jovinko. Yeah, fuck Jovinko. Oh yeah, we got, we're going on. Yeah, I think we started on the, talking about height. Yeah. See, so, but that's yeah. the thing is, like this could be this is the worst MLS final for me. I hate Seattle because of the rivalry with I just Vancouver. I fucking hate Dempsey. I just yeah, think, I, hate I think Dempsey. that whole thing with Dempsey getting the red his red card and only getting a one game suspension. Yeah. With his track record on the how many red cards he's gotten. It should be his. It should have been more than a one game suspension. He should never even been playing in the Seattle Vancouver game. Should, yeah. yeah, should never even been there. And even a Seattle fan that we, uh, me and Austin on our soccer team, we even talk, I would talk to him at practice, and he even said Dempsey shouldn't have been playing. Yeah, he shouldn't have been playing. But either way, the Vancouver Whitecaps aren't going to beat the Sounders. That's true. Right now, because the Whitecaps don't spend money. We don't yeah, spend enough up money. a new striker yeah, from just, a lower from league. Fucking, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, but he's 23 and he was the top goal scorer. Hey, he's six foot one. Hey, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's at least 20 goals. At least. Let's hope he so. He score 20 goals in the Venezuelan top league. <laughs> but see, yeah, that's the thing is we go to the Venezuelan leagues and the fucking Uruguayan leagues to pick up these guys who come in and they play good. But they don't play well enough. Well, we, yeah. also we're also MLS. It's nothing special either. Okay, but so is Toronto. <laughs> yeah. And they've got a guy who can play on the Italian team. Because they're spending they've the got, money. That's what I'm saying. The money. We have to spend money. They And the Vancouver has the money. They're just not Well, even spend look it. at Chicago bringing in Schweinsteiger. Like, you spend that money, you're going to make that money. You bring yeah. in those huge brand name players. Yeah, you're going to make them all your money. They're going to call Dings on the You have You have those. You have those DP spots where you have no... You have no salary cap. You can spend whatever you want. They just signed and, like, what, another homegrown player too. Yeah, yeah, fucking. Oh, yeah, shit. kid that got they signed when they were nine. What's his no? What's his dad? David Norman. His dad played for us. Yeah, oh, back got, in like the NASL days. Yeah, Austin just Austin and Enzo sent me a link and I yeah David Norman about Jr. It. What's he even play? I'm. I didn't even click the link in the bio to read about yeah. him. No, I, have, I do not care. I'm tired of seeing these like homegrown players. I want to see a big name. Yeah, I want to see the bring money something spent. that's gonna get me into the seats. Yeah. Cause I'll I'll go to like what I have I have my season tickets for one year. One year, yeah, we had one year in the five. Twenty fifteen, twenty fifteen. Yeah, but then I had a child, so <laughs> those are overrated. Yeah, they are. It's just a trophy. Yeah, <laughs> a fuck trophy. Until he gets me money. Okay, until he starts the fuck trophy. Yeah. Until he makes starts making me some money. Professional athlete. <laughs> well, Uncle Kenny's gonna put him in t-ball. I'll put him in soccer. Well, we're gonna coach him. We're gonna, we're gonna get. Just said you got cut. We're gonna get the, we're, age seven. You should probably put him in hockey. Instead. I didn't get cut. <laughs> you I cut quit. yourself. <laughs> we're gonna get those quit kicking soccer. and kicking and screaming. Uh, yeah, track yeah. suits. Baby blue tiger track suits. It's gonna look good. You be an Asian kid on your team named Ping Pong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Great movie. Oh, so good. So good. I just uh, looked up that uh, David Norman Jr. guy. Yeah. He joined the club at nine. He's been playing with the prospects since U15, 16, and 18. He spent one year with Oregon State, okay. and he was leading the team in assists as a freshman. And then he was named 2017 White. He, he was named 2017 White Caps FC play, FC two Player of the Year. Led the teams in assists, chances created, and duels won. So what's he mid? Uh, he is yeah six foot two midfielder. So there we'll we see. go. We're looking at another six another foot plus. Six foot two. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. My five foot eight point stands. Yeah. <laughs> I think Javinko, what is he, five foot four? <laughs> six, I think. I think Javinko's five six. You think about it though, who was our be- who's been our- the White Caps best striker? The one that should not be named. Yeah. Okay. Right and how tall was he? No. no Camilo. <laughs> oh, Camilo, that's yeah. true. But and how tall was he? Short. Could have been like more than five seven. Yeah. Yeah, he was a tiny guy. He was filthy though. He been left. Octavio, he is probably tall. Yeah, he, he was. Sucked. He was. How about uh, Bernie Avini? Bernie, we'll I like, hey, I like Bernie Avini. The Abini. friggin' Bernies. I like Bernie Avini. I like Bernie Avini. I like... Uh, He's tall. <laughs> I don't really... I, I was going to say I like Tony Chani, but I don't love him. He scores uh, squeakers. Yeah. 
Yeah, Who else did we let go? Well, we didn't Usted. sign Tyler. Did they? Thank uh, God, I fucking they hate Tyler. Did go? I no, they they carried on with Shea. They kept Shea. Kept him as a DP. He's gonna be a fucking million dollar year player coming off the bench in the seventieth minute. Only time he's fucking useful. Hey man, he scored some timely goals. Seventy plus minute. He scored some timely goals. He coming off, off as a sub. Coming off as a sub. He comes in, he gives it his they all. He's not worth what down. he is though. They can buy the contract. If they can bring the contract down, not have him as a DP. We can do something decent then. Well, let's see here. Let's see. I'll, I'm gonna go into the white caps app and see. Seeing as how we got off topic again from the original thing from, from talking about MLS. Well, no one, wants to talk, no one wants to talk about Toronto and our, Seattle. Yeah, right. hate. Our hatred. I was yeah, really hoping hatred. for a Houston Columbus final. Oh my god, I would have actually. I, I would watch it. I don't. I'm, I'm not gonna too. watch this final because I hate these well, guys. Because Columbus is going to what Austin next year now. No, they got one more year. One more year in Columbus. Are they gonna only give 20, them one more year? I think right? it's one more year, and then 2019. I'm pretty sure they're going. I bet Kakuda's so happy to move back home. What oh, I bet he's gone. I hope they pick Ali up. Ali Gaza, that guy is look, awesome. Because you guys, you guys went and saw him way more live than I did. He looked tough. Is he pretty good? Yeah, good. Yeah, he, he didn't. He makes some dirty decent. tackles, but they ended up coming out clean. So, and what do you know? Got... He's six two. Six two. <laughs> <laughs> he is six two. Jake the Snake. Hated we, him at first. You know we got end up becoming. Oh, Nowinski is filthy. I didn't like him at first. How? He ended up coming out as a hero at the end. No, man, he, he's he been hated. Filthy all season. He hated next last game of the season. The kid, buddy, well, has a sign saying Jake the Snake. Yeah, yeah. And we're Jake getting photos with him. Well, how do you hate him, man? He played good all year. I he thought played he was good a bum the, the first couple of games. No. I thought, I thought he's a bum. He's a fucking rookie. I thought I thought Williams was really good, and then the whole uh, beating his Sheenan? wife. Yeah, <laughs> fuck Sheenan Williams. He's gone. They didn't pick him up. No, I know. Uh, I love how he joined Parker on a road trip. Back, across the country, and back to the Freddy, hometown, and then he's Freddie Montero is a free agent, isn't he? Uh, he's got one. He's going back to his club, but uh, oh, he's on loan he's from, on loan from, from the White Caps. Super, uh, the basically called league. dibs on him. So if yeah. they don't keep him, then he comes back. Yeah, yeah they got his rights. They owned his rights, which I is pretty good. That Chinese super league. They uh, they didn't pick up Rosales. Yeah, well, he's like fucking three. I don't know, years even know why they spent the money on him this year. I maybe for a coach. I think it was more of like a call position kind of thing. Yeah, I didn't yeah, realize how short Christian Teixeira was. I was tired. He's like 5'4". He's is the he? shortest player in the league. Is he? Uh, no, he's six five two. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck. That's that's what I thought he was like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. Yeah, that's two inches taller five, than your two. mom. Yeah. Or three I, inches taller than your mom. That's an inch shorter than Sarah. That's tiny. Yeah. Jesus Christ. They haven't updated their roster on their app, though, because they still got quite a few guys on here that I haven't picked up. Just waiting for the new FIFA update. The new players? Yeah. Kind of sad about uh, Nosa. Was hoping they picked him up. Yeah, well, yeah, no, they did up. Actually, they did bite him. He's not on here though. No, Nosa's on. No, good boy. Yeah, Nosa. Yeah, good but they didn't. He's uh, he's pushing. He's only six foot, so he's kind of. They the... didn't pick his um, <laughs> option though. Oh yeah. Reina, five foot seven. Who are we looking for, guys? Under five eight for you? I don't know. Is that how tall you are? Five eight. <laughs> Five seven. Are you five awesome. seven? Yeah, five, yeah. Five, yeah. Me and Austin, same same height. Okay, I'm only best, five. Friends. best friends. Best friends. Best friends. You're only five seven. No, I'm five eight. We're five, we're five eight, Austin. Are we? Yeah. Because I, I was taller than Eric I was taller than Doug. Five ten. You're guys. taller than me. Am I? Because I was the tallest in this house. Are you sure? Yeah, hundred percent. I am five you're nine. Right. I fucking knew it. Sarah always tells me I'm five eight. No, you're five nine. I knew I was five nine. Five nine and a half, probably. Making, I got a tape measure. Probably making for great podcast. I got a tape right measure right now. now. Let's just measure ourselves here, guys. Yeah, this take, this take is what the shoes. people want to know. Take the people who already out. know us know that we're fucking short. Here, actually, let's go to the wall. Yeah, nobody even knows about us. Should we be like talking about who we are? <laughs> yeah, right here. stand right here. It's fucking garbage, man. It's just in in the uh, podcast. They're now measuring each other. Grab a whooping bottom thing. Yeah, five nine. He's five nine. Yeah, there's no five foot. Five two, five three. Just like you're. Oh, no way, I'm 5'7". Tell you that one right now. Yeah, so, no let's get back to the real facts, folks. Because if I'm taller than both of you, then you guys are really Yeah, because I went to the doctor and they said I was 5'8". Yeah, so then I'm 5'9". So I'll give it 5'9 and a half. What the fuck did I do in my head? I don't know. I don't know where you put it. 
He took, he threw it off and like, yeah, let's get, let's show my real height. Should we be telling everyone who we are? <laughs> everyone knows who we are. They're just coming in. Coming in first. Who step. are these guys talking about everyone's height? We're Listen. bringing them. We're reeling them in. We're not giving them every information, so we, they'll come back for episode. Well, two. they'll have to search us up. They're like, yeah. who are these guys? Fucking We've got beers, ten booze, and bros. On Instagram or right Twitter. now. Or on Twitter. I gotta so. I gotta set up an Insta I'll set up an Instagram right, right now. Instagram. I gotta save that thing. We like go live when three of them are us, so yeah. <laughs> we got seven followers. Let's create an account right now. Let's log out. I do like this beer the more that I drink it though. Yeah. It's good. I've been digging it. Yeah. It's a good pour. It's nice and smooth. I'm never really like I'm always a fan of lagers, but I do most of my beer drinking in the summer, so. I'm more of a Blondale guy. Yeah. Yeah, Blondale's good. Like See, the, I like the fruity, citrusy beers, too. Yeah, I don't. I like the sour, like, I gozas hate the I hate grapefruit. Like, that grapefruit flavor? I hate it. You ever try, like, the sour gozas? Sour don't know. So good. What? It leaves, like, a sour, like, bitter taste on your tongue at the end. Okay. Yeah. I might be able to fuck with that. Yeah. That sounds Fieldhouse good. Fieldhouse has a good one. Do they? I can't go there. Can't go there? Can't. Why? I don't like one of the people that works there. Oh, that sucks. But I can't What's that, that sorry? I don't want to hear this Maybe. podcast in case they end up... <laughs> well, now we got to edit that out. Is, it, is, this, yeah. a, is it, this a field house there? Yeah. I'll, I'll bring you some. Damn we'll it. get you a growler. I'll fill it up. Yeah, next, you're an expert. Next, I've got an extra next growler podcast. in my car. We'll do, yeah, uh, you bring we'll the do next a growler swap. See, I've never understood. What's the... Like, what's, what's the protocol here? I've never been a big growler guy. I'm always a six-pack guy. A growler is a six-pack. So I just started getting in... Yeah, I've just started getting into getting growlers, right? Because... More equal friendly and shit, right? Because you reuse the bottle, but you have like I've got a growler from Granville Island. Yeah, can I take that yeah. to a different place? You can like, just hey, like can you guys refill you can this like for take me? it, fill it up. So I like I got five because I don't know I forget mm. my growlers and if I like the beer I'll like just buy a growler. And yeah, kind of cool, just put it on display. Yeah, it's nice. So like you can just like bring whatever random one like I got and one. they'll they'll fill it up for you. Yeah, like, I got like one from Granbrook or Cranbrook and yeah. I like went some. Um, Pass that to you, that growler. Yeah, I went to like some random place in Langley. I think it was Trading Post I went to. Yeah. Me and Matt were saying that should be the next one, right, Matt? Yeah, I went to Trading Post and I was like, uh, I'm just can I get a growler? Grab a growler refill. And yeah. It's like 12 bucks to fill a growler instead of paying like for a brand new one. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I noticed. Like, I filled up my old EL one that I had. And then I bought two new growlers. I bought one for Matt because I had to pay Matt back for the tie. Yeah. That you and lost? Nope. No, no nope. tie. We got tie for the old man's wake. Oh, okay. Or whatever you want to call it. A Where's celebration of life. Celebration of life. My, yeah. my chair was really squeaky. Speaking of ties, I lost my tie in Matt's uh, suit bag. After the nice. wedding. After the wedding. Nice. <laughs> Did they make you pay for it? Yeah. I paid for it and then I went back and got my money back. <laughs> nice. That's good. Yeah. How much did they charge? Like... 15 bucks? 16. Yeah. But either way, I'm just going to put this on our podcast. Fuck Moors. They're a rip off. Yeah, fuck yeah, that place. Fuck them. Fuck you guys. You guys Do not go back. Moors. If we get famous, <laughs> fuck, fuck them. Only reason I went back to get my suit for the celebration was because I got $400 free yeah. for renting our How much taxes. did it cost you? It, call, it co- cost me 40 bucks for fucking uh, alterations. That's not bad. No. But, I, it, but you got the suit. Oh, I got a suit and I got a did sport coat. A suit? Oh boy. I got a suit and a sport coat, yeah. What the fuck is a sport coat? Like this. I'll show it's you. a blazer. It's a blazer. Isn't that just like a suit? No, it's a suit jacket. <laughs> but that's what I mean. It's just a suit. Matt used to wear suit jackets all the time when we were in high school. <laughs> was Matt just the coolest fucking... No, he was not. <laughs> I didn't wear him to school. I wore him to... I went to parties. And got yeah, we went to yeah. parties. We used to call ourselves the Blazing Blazers. That's amazing. <laughs> That's and nice. I bought him a Don Dan's Cherry one one day. Dan's going to tailor the arms in for me? Yeah, yeah. But, you know... I just, yeah, I'm actually like, I'm becoming a big suit guy here. Nice. But right now I'm living suit within my suit, means. Yeah. No, I'm living, I'm living within my means and I know I can only buy suits from H&M right now because yeah. yeah. it costs me 120 but bucks you can, to get a full fucking suit. You can Because I can fit them You nicely. can fit those suits. Same. Wait, yeah. I found, I wear a 46, I can fit those suits. You can get those suits, yeah. I can. You just maybe can't get the pants. No, I think that. Because you're thick around the waist. I'm a little thick. You got some thick thighs. Thick thighs, yeah. thick thighs same thick. lives. And they're, they're, uh. They're skinny. Thick of I, I, the, the ones I got, I had to get tailored. They had to take yeah. in my, take in the. They had to take them in. Take them in at the at the way at the calves there. Okay. And she's like going in. She's like. Did you skip leg day? No, I didn't know. 
Uh, she's yeah, like, you, no, you at the knee, at the knee, it, go, it goes it. big and then smaller around the knee. And then like, she's like, you got some calves. You got some calves. Yeah, I, was like, calves. I was like, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Like, thank you. They used to be tree trunks, but you know. They're not fat, they're plump. Austin, can you give He's me a, a top up? I can feel the magic. In this is good chemistry we have right here. Boys. You should uh, you should try Trading Post's Cranberry. Ooh, Cranberry. Horrible pour. That was the That was word. awesome. Get a, get a napkin. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You're spilling everywhere. Oh, God, Dawson. You are a fucking... That is awesome. Austin I, is off pouring duties from now on. I know a little head's pretty good, but and that was... slammed that cup oh. of yours, too. Hey, hey, nice. Let me clean up. Hey, yeah, at least, yeah, if you clean... Zamboni. Zamboni. There we go. Tastes like cleaning product. Uh, yeah, I did clean the counter earlier today. Okay, clean it again. Okay, I'll re-pour that. And we gotta dip, start really dipping into sports here. Okay. Should have some content. Um, let's go with the, the World Cup the group World stages Cup. just got drawn. Let me uh, bring them up here. Okay, how's that pour? That's much better. That's way better. Right. Much more professional. Second time. I forgot I was around. pouring a beer. Oh, shit. I got them in my... Uh, Credit to the score. That's not too the bad. score app, if anyone has it on here, it's nice. It gives you all the groups as well as all the games. I think we've got to pay oh, for the dropping. <laughs> no, you don't. No, we just pay us. Yeah. We're just hoping they get yeah. a hold of it. Sponsorship. We hope they hear it and they're like, fuck these guys. Yeah. These guys are putting us on. We'll give them a little credit. Except for this place. Oh, thank God that shot was empty. Yeah, it's still in stuff now. Shut up. Oh, I just had the squads up. I was trying to find the squads for yeah. each team, but where did I have, where did I have, I had the groups open, are you so I mean, I've got the groups open, so do we want to go Where on the score app do you have it? Okay, go back. Oh, news. No. You stupid. Go back. Go up. To the top. There you go. Oh, there we go. Look okay. at that. Look at that. It was probably in the news. Do you have the score app? No. Snapchat no. right now? Yeah, I am. Yeah, you are. Yeah, what's going First on? official Fuck podcast. You don't even follow me on Snapchat. So I know. Well, let me get a hat on. Fuck, show this hairline. Jesus Christ. Yeah. What hairline? The receding one. There isn't one. <laughs> it, it there you go. Ran away from me. Take take number two there, Austin. No, sorry. It's already <sighs> sent. Had to be done. I'll never see it. Because Austin's a dick. Me on uh, Snapchat. Nice guy, Austin. Yeah. yeah. You guys want to shout out? Here it is. I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you what my Snapchat is. I honestly I couldn't even tell you. I don't know. Well, I changed my name to Nice Guy Austin so I could tell everyone I'm a nice guy. How do you add? Uh, I don't do that. Let's do a party. I guess this is a chance to say uh, we, like, we are now on. on we are oh, now on all no, social. No. We are now on all oh, shit, social no, media platforms. Here, pull up your camera. It just added a nice guy. That's him. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not nice guy Austin. No, his, yeah. his name is nice guy. Nice no, guy it's nice guy Austin. Pull up your camera. camera. Okay, hold on. Snapchat. I'm not that well versed in it. Take a photo. You don't have to hold the photo up. Oh, there you go. I have friends. Yeah, you do. Perfect. Added. Done. Nice. We're friends. Well, we you. Except you still can't send that to me, so you better put it on your story. No, sorry. I didn't. Oh. Held each other's hands going down the aisle. And no, we didn't. Oh, we didn't hold hands. We hand, hand, in the hands, back of his yeah, hand, hands in the butt in the back pockets now Caught finally become field. friends on Snapchat. <laughs> Followed yeah. him on Instagram, too. Only a solid month later. But, uh, it was the right time. I felt him up at a party. And it was Adam. nice. Yeah, it was nice. Actually, I think we got the best prize out of all. I really yeah. hope they got a good photo of that. Well, we have to wait. We'll fucking... find out when they get back from vacation. Yeah, they're in Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. We're trying to get some photo. We're trying to get some early photos. All I'm that matters is they got my house plans done. Did they? Long time ago. Yeah. That'll be set. Okay. Long time. Yes, we okay. can not stay on top. Can you like videos. edit some of this stuff out? Oh, yeah, he's gonna have to edit a lot <laughs> oh, of this stuff. But you gotta leave like the good stuff. Yeah. I, like, I, I probably, I probably might even not touch it all. I'm just probably gonna edit. Let's, a uh, bit. let's sh just give a shout out to the great Bert Kreiser. Oh yes, Bert, Bert, you started this. Bert, Bert, Bert dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Bert Kreiser, man. The Bert cast. The one oh, I always yeah, tell. Yeah, Bert cast. The one yeah. I always tell you about. I, never, I didn't know his last name. Me and Matt, we discovered it, and uh, yeah, we we got Matt got the idea about him drinking all the time with his friends, and Matt wanted to give it a shot. All right, then I got to uh, give my show to my podcast inspiration. What's part of my take. Love part of my take. Oh yeah, he just no, got me on it. Uh, Big Cat and TFT. You just got me on that the other day. Have you started it? Yeah, they're pretty fucking I started, funny. I started eh? listening to it when I was driving the other day, and then I started listening to it to work yesterday. Yeah, 
If and you don't have this it, morning. they're funny. Sports, uh, mostly that. football. I don't Jay, know. Jay Demerit's got a uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah, the you weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. And he yeah. found. I was showing him the podcast. I followed him a long time ago. I, I was. I was showing him the podcast. I was listening to, and he's like, "Oh, you listen to that one too?" Yeah, I've been listening since like their first episode. Yeah, so it's good. Uh, I started following them. The thank you, Jay Demerit. Yeah, thanks, Jay Demerit. I followed them after. Hashtag <laughs> Diesel took a photo of me, yeah. Matt, and the boys. <laughs> Maybe yeah. he'll follow our podcast. Yeah. Maybe I'll and tag we get some fucking. He once retweeted my photo, and I felt kind of famous. Yeah, for a second there, right? He took a photo. Just a fan took a photo of the boys. Yeah, it's yeah. like one time, Vanderlei Silva followed me. Nice on Twitter and so, Jose Batista. How'd you get that? George the Rock. Did they, un- did they unfollow you? George no, the- they still follow me. Yeah, uh, George I, the Rock follows me on Twitter. That's fucking. Sweet. I got a I got a famous NHLer on my Twitter too. I don't know what he's yeah. called. I'll find him. He can't be that famous. I think he's if we, got uh, a lot of followers. Biz Nasty, he'd retweet our podcast. Oh my god, this. <laughs> oh. If only that guy needs. A I can't podcast. even get him to fucking retweet me. He works for the Coyotes now. I tweeted him once. Did you? Me too. I found out he was in Vancouver. I was like, "We hitting the Roxy or what?" No retweet. A lot of people probably asked him that. I told him I buy a Miyagi bombs. You know what? I think I've tweeted him something similar too. Yeah. Let me see here. I don't know how to use social media for shit. But you're on it all day. Instagram. You're so fucking old. I, not that old. He, he's on it all day, every day. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm on it all the time, but I just don't use it. I just use it to creep. Took and me retweet. a couple weeks to accept my follow. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, it did. Are you sure? Yeah, I was a little offended. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. 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 Awkward silence now. <laughs> it's it's it out. <laughs> no, no, I was reading a thing. Uh, it's hey, what like are we talking about? A Bleacher Report. <laughs> Henri versus Kane. Henri was What's it say? Shit. Oh, no. Kane is good. Henri took 181 games to reach 100 goals for Arsenal. Yeah. Harry Kane took 169 games to reach 100 goals. So 12 games quicker. That's not too bad. He's probably he's probably younger too. Harry Kane? Yeah. Probably like twelve games younger, yeah. No, no, I'm talking age wise. I don't well. think he got called up to the main I think he was nineteen when he made his first club. No, by the time he hit a hundred though, that's the thing. Yeah, probably. I don't fucking know. It's a picture, man. I couldn't tell you. There's no stats there. It's just from Bleacher Report. Well, we got fucking sidetracked. A yep. Again. 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 It's gonna it's gonna be it's a gonna recurring happen. theme. Oh yeah. It happens, you know. Better things get get brought up, yeah. but uh, let's go back to the World Cup draws. There's no Group of Death. There isn't. There's, I was very shocked. There's one close one, which is Group F with uh, Germany, Mexico, Sweden, and South Korea. South Korea, sorry. Yeah. I think Sweden's gonna move on. You're the bottom leg on that one. Young, fired up squad. Yeah. Mexico's kind of losing their stride. I'm hinting Mexico's, Mexico's going to be a surprise. I'm hinting maybe. I wonder because ever since Latens retired from Sweden's international team, they've done better. They've been fired up, man. They knocked he, out Italy. Have yeah. you watched that Zlatan documentary on Netflix? I have. He's I have a fucking yet. prick, man. He is. He's a fucking ass. I do ass. not like Zlatan. He's, he's an asshole. He's an egotistical motherfucker, Fucker, but he yeah. thinks he's the best it. because he is pretty good. See, but that's have the you thing. Ronaldo's, he thinks uh, he's the best. Because he's pretty good. Yeah. Have you watched Ronaldo's documentary? I have, yeah, it was good. He's even more egotistical, he and he's the goat. But he is. Yeah. That's the yeah. thing. Is he's sh- he shit the bed this year, though. Christian, yeah. But yeah. I give it to him. He was suspended for the first five games Doesn't of the matter. La Liga. He's got one goal on 28 shots. And he's had the goal. second most uh, uh, shots, attempts on net, and yeah. he's got Who cares? one of those. He won the He can retire happy. No, he can't. <laughs> he won the Euro, <laughs> no, but he didn't, win the World Cup he didn't win the Euro. There you go. And I hate him. I love him so much. I hate Cristiano Ronaldo. No. Leo Messi. Yeah. 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 He retired after he lost the CONACAP. Or and you know who else I don't like? It, uh, who? The Neymar. Neymar? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan He's of Neymar. He's such a piece of shit. Such, such a, a fucking asshole. I'm not, I'm not a fan. He, and he, now he wants to leave PSG for Real? Yeah, he doesn't does like he? it. Either. Yeah. <laughs> the rumor is Real going after it's Neymar. It's because he's fighting with Cavani. Yeah. Well, did you see it? He finally... That, uh, when they had that first PK and they fought over it. Yeah. And then... There's another one, and Neymar gave it to Cavani, and fucking Cavani missed. It's because the guy wants to be the number one player. Well, Why would you go to Real? They both have, they both yeah. have a bonus. It's always. like you're playing. Well, unless, unless Cristiano's leaving. Um, Pepe wants him to come over and Bentecus. He won't. Unless, MLS. MLS is the... He could go to Bentecus, though, because Pepe's there and Charisma. His Portuguese brothers, basically. Yeah, but and they could have deep, they could give him some deep pockets. He's so money hungry. 
He is very mon- money and hungry. And I think and Bentecus is becoming a really good team. They they got a they yeah they qualify. They made it onto the next leg of the Turkish Champions side, League, right? Yeah, yeah. Hutchinson or what, what's his last name? Hutchinson, right? Atiba Hutchinson, Canadian. Yes. Yeah. Their center mid there yeah. for uh, Bentecus. He's good. He's so good. He's really good. There's still rumors about him coming to the MLS for the Whitecaps. That'd be nice. That'd be. Hopefully they just. Like, he's a lot older he's now, 32, though, right? Too, yeah, but he older. still has one of the best passing rates in, yeah. in the Turkish league. There you go. Don't fact check this. <laughs> That's no, a, no, no, I ain't going to do that. I love fact checking. That's like the worst thing for me. Yeah, it? he loves like proving someone, me someone will tell me and I know they're fucking wrong. And this podcast arguing. is it's not like, remote right. fact checks. Fact checks. Google. All day. Should have brought, I should have brought my like Google this, But this is how <laughs> bad it is. Is I was a groomsman in my buddy Nick's wedding. And he literally used that line for me when he's just you know how you go through and you describe all your he did a speech where he described all his groomsmen and he, the one thing he says for me is google it because i fucking will google everything to prove that i'm right that's so true i do not give a fuck that is true when that i'm right true. i am right and you cannot tell me i'm wrong yeah I, even if i'm wrong i'm still fucking right you're fucking i'll miss, find a way to miss, prove myself right your miss is always right yeah. basically yeah. if uh if ronaldo does go to the mls he'll go to the new la team I was going to say. And he'll be part of one or some shit. Or, or um, David Beckham's trying to get Miami, I think. Yes, team. So Miami, he'll go to Miami yeah. because they're Spanish-speaking. Which I'm surprised that he didn't... But they don't fucking... To... He doesn't speak... He speaks Portuguese. But he plays in... In the, the, the Spanish well, league, league. Right, so... But I don't, I, don't know, I don't think he would go to Miami. He'd go to LA over Miami. No, he wouldn't. I think LA, just because of Beckham. Yeah. Big name. You, you said e- Miami, you mean? Yeah, for Miami. That's what he yeah. said. Yeah. No, I, you, he said... He'll go to LA. No, no I said he didn't. Play it back. Miami. Play back. Play back. I, I will. Oh, fact check this I will. shit right now. I said well, Miami. I know he said Miami. I said Miami because it's Spanish speaking. We'll come back to this episode too. No, yeah. I. But when you said it again, I know you said it the, the well, right then the first I time. Up when you I'm came, drunk. yeah. When you came back the second time, <laughs> you said a it wrong. Large Hispanic speaking community in LA too, though. So yeah, Portuguese and Spanish, pretty much pretty close. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of Mexicans everywhere. That's racist. It's not be racist. We're not anti-racist podcast. It's not. There's a lot of there's a, man. the U.S. has this. Their second language is unofficially. And we're gonna this out here too. Uh, we are gonna be the second anti-Nazi podcast as well. <laughs> what? Can we edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm gonna learn how to edit after this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Anti-Nazi. Anti-Nazi. It's a good thing. I know. We're against Nazis. Oh yeah. Okay. You get a couple more episodes into part of my day. Oh. oh, well, yeah, I'm only that one episode. They're the first anti-Nazi podcast. Are they? Yeah. I wouldn't know. <laughs> after, <laughs> after, like, all the shit that happened in the States with, like, you know, they, you know when the Nazis came out and did that big fucking march? Oh, Tiki mm-hmm. Torches now. So yeah, percent Tiki off. Torches, yeah. So they came out and said, like, we just want to make it clear we are the first ever anti-Nazi podcast. So I want to make it clear that we are the second ever anti-Nazi podcast. Because part of my take right now is... Number one in North America, not Canada, North America for sports talk. Fact check. <laughs> you can't check because we're in fucking Canada. Oh yeah, we checked, went over this the other night. Yes. Oh, the spit and chicklets was up there though. We're in fucking Canada, of course it is. It's hockey. Not a good one. You know, yeah, no, Matt was saying you're not a big hockey fan. Not a big hockey guy. I'm more into soccer. Yeah. I'll watch hockey. I love soccer. With He's our, all, you know what's our, so funny is with our fantasy hockey, I just guess on every single yeah. draft pick I have. And that's where I got I, mad that I drafted Ovi and Matthews. I <laughs> did it. On auto draft. Auto draft. <laughs> draft them and they're doing <laughs> so good. I was going to draft uh, Tarasenko in the first round. That's not bad though. Tarasenko's yeah. pretty good. But yeah, I, when it comes to fantasy hockey, I, in five years of playing fantasy hockey, I've never finished worse than second. My first year, I uh, based all my picks off of NHL 2012. Yeah. So I had like everyone on the cusp of retirement. Nice. I went 11 and 3. Yeah, see, you guys do, <laughs> you guys do it weird. We do it, dude. You do it way different than we I do. do. Like, where you guys just one do one and year. one, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We have week, weekly Like, you matchups. either win or you lose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a, no, there's a tie, though. There was a tie one time. One, yeah, mean, but. It was me, me, and, the, me and this other guy. Was, he won, but then a. It went, uh, went, the NHL went I back and reviewed. it was Team Yeah. The, <laughs> the, the, the NHL <laughs> the best team name took ever. away an assist and we, and we were, or no, took away a couple saves. And it was, 
we were, I lost by point one mm-hmm. and I ended up tying with him, and that's everyone's hilarious. just like, what the oh, fuck, fuck happened? Yeah. See, and that's where ours differs, because you can never you do really, keepers, don't you? We do a keeper league, but our scoring's also different. Like, we do head-to-head matchups. Yeah. So we have goals and assists, power play points, uh, hits, shots, and then you have goals against, save percentage, wins, and that's it, right? So then you win each category, and at the end of the day, you're going to end up 7 and 5, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and shutouts. We got shutouts, which is really all almost ends in a tie every time. Yeah. So if you get one shutout, like you're fucking styling, you've won that category. Well, whoever had Doom Nick when he got three in a row. Yeah. But yeah. that's why that's why it's so different to me. Like my fantasy football, I play fantasy football, that's how I play. Like your guys' way, but yeah, we had to head where it's it's all those categories. Corey's. But if you're against one you either person, win or you lose. Yeah. Yeah. I like the way we have it. Like but I you guys we do, did we you did guys that do one a... at the very beginning of the league and we're like, what the fuck is this? Like yeah, we, we actually like, like this one. These guys have more points, and then this one guy had like two more points than someone else, mm-hmm. and then ended up that guy won that car- category. Yeah, see, and that's why I, I don't know. I I I I get the way you guys what smacking the phone on the table. <laughs> it fidgety. comes up major. I do get. I do. I do get fidgety. It probably vibrates. No, um, I get the way you guys do it. I like it that way. I don't know just for fantasy hockey because there are so m- many more. Th- I don't know ways to win. That's why I like doing it head to head in each category. Well, I know in ours, because a guy can have a nuts week and score five goals in a week, and then you've pretty much locked in your goal category, right? Because you're still going to get probably ten to fifteen goals well, from every other. We got player. one guy who was running like six and zero, oh, and then Ooh. I played him and I ran up the score like forty points on him. Nice. I got that blemish you on feel his good, leg. Yeah. No, you feel good, yeah. No, now he's yourself. losing now again. That's why we got a buddy I'm we got, behind ten right now. Yeah, we got an, we got another guy who's uh, started zero oh, oh and six. Yeah. And now he's he's one and six right one now, six, right? Yeah. And now we just made it today. We have a we're de- we're, de- we're, we're democracy. Nobody's talked about it yet. Though. We're a democracy here. But there was major. There, it was four Slava. and zero. Yeah, the guy named his team Free Slava. Amazing. So now the lo- the first person that is out of playoffs with the low because there's six of us in the league, so everybody makes playoffs. Me and Matt are into it because we just want this stupid thing to happen. So no, but there, we had democracy. There was at least four positive votes. So. It's going to happen. So the person with the least amount of points that gets eliminated from playoffs first has to get the word hashtag free Slava with tattooed tick, on them. With a tick. With a nice. tick. Saying they lost that year. That's and, amazing. And the... Um, or know what we should do? The year he lost so everyone knows. Free Slava 2017. Yeah. Yeah. But like right underneath like... No, free, free Slava 2018. Yeah. Or... But, you, guys want, you guys just want the hashtag free Slava, right? Yeah. yeah. It's going to say because you should get... They should get their team name. Plus twenty seventeen. Being a loser? Yeah. Yeah. Just being Ooh. a total loser. Mine's any holes a goal. So, so that's what I'm saying. Is, <laughs> I know your guys' friend group, so I know these names aren't gonna be like fucking just generic no, they're sli- normal names. We got right? slick we got slick and salty, free slot, hashtag free sl- uh, sniper. Empty, empty net sniper. Any uh, holes that a goal. Sucks. Suck my uh, object. Suck my suck object. My object. <laughs> that would be a good one yeah. to get tattooed. Um what's Adrian's? Um I don't eat. We just don't care about him. That's why you forgot about him. Uh, what is we'll it? Look right now. <laughs> yeah, you pull it up. I'm not too sure. I like how off track we get every time we talk about a subject. Yeah, it just just rambles. can't stay there. Yeah. Um. Matt Pound Town. Pound <laughs> Town. <laughs> I love it. I'm destroying free free slob in this had, week uh, right now. We had one guy on our league one year, and it, his name was Team Eat Ass. I like it. I'm so happy I'm not and, in your uh, guys' league. My one was uh, Fupa Slayer one year. Fupa Slayer. <laughs> if you people don't know what Fupa means, it's fat upper pussy area. I like it. Google like it. it. <laughs> See, mine is East Infections. Nice. Yeah. I um I picked up and dropped and picked up and dropped and picked up Brock Besser. You're a fucking idiot. The whole time. Yeah, he's <laughs> a fucking I have picked moron. up and kept I, I drafted. Brock I drafted Besser. him too as a sleeper, and then he was he got left off the roster for, for three a couple games. games three. I dropped he him. dropped him after he was such an idiot. And then I well, he was getting up. he was getting destroyed his first series. Yeah. So he's like, I gotta fucking start making some changes. Yeah. And then I picked him up, and then he kept getting minus. So I dropped him in Horvat, and then I picked him. Drop Horvat yeah. too, and man, I dropped him Horvat. <laughs> yeah. I kept Horvat. I don't know if I'll keep him this year though, but 
Well, that was like me. Horvat was my fucking person in the past two years. I'd have him. You kept dropping him last year. Yeah, I kept picking up and dropping him all the time. And I'd get pissed, so then I, I was like, fuck him this year. I'm not even going to bother. I did uh, the back-to-back. Um, Neither of you guys are football guys, right? Get your fucking... So I'm scratching my fucking leg. Man. I know, but <laughs> over my leg. You... I picked up Subban and uh, Wayne Simmons back-to-back. Because you went for blacks. I went for the blacks. That's racist. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be racist. Yeah. I was like, I need to pick up either guys that are black or all named Austin. I like Google search, like the players. Oh, yeah. And there was only one good Austin player and two good black guys. <laughs> awesome, man. And who did you say? Wayne Simmons? And Wayne Simmons and P.K. Subban. Well, you know, yeah, he... He thought that our time frame for the draft was a, was different. Yeah. So he wasn't on his fucking laptop. I and had it queued, and it said draft starting in, and it was counting down. Yeah. And I didn't know I had to open up another queue like in a different browser. And Why did you? Because he he clicked the wrong, he was in the wrong he was in the wrong part of it, and so I he's sitting there waiting. Oh, for that. you guys use fucking Yahoo. I don't know why oh, Colin you? Colin yeah. made Yahoo. Just, like, we always use ESPN, yeah. and we've never used this Yahoo. I one. just got fee for that night, so I wasn't paying attention to. Obviously. Fantasy. Yeah, yeah. why so, would you? It's FIFA. I'm trying to pack everything. Who, who doesn't love FIFA? Yeah, so he's focused on that. And Speaking then... of FIFA, let's go back to the World Cup. Yes. <laughs> let's take the a... The World Cup. Let's take a left turn here and get back to where we're going. Russia is where it's being held. Yep. For those of you who don't know. Russia's in the World Cup, if you guys didn't know that either. Yeah. You know who's not in the World Cup, though? Italy. Italy. And the, the good USA. old US of A. And the Netherlands. Yeah, no, I'm a little sad about that because Netherlands. Who doesn't like the Dutch? I don't like the Dutch, but no, like I was a little sad about that one. Yeah. They're a good rivalry with uh, Portugal. There. My whole uh, my stepdad's family is all from from the Netherlands. So no uh, Wales. There's no Wales. No Wales. Yeah. No, no Wales. Scotland. That's a big one. No Wales is bigger. No, there. I see it all. I see it all over that. To all over fucking Lab Bible and stuff. Yeah, they won't take him back. Yeah, they wouldn't. Damn, no way. In a fucking heartbeat, they would take Garrett oh, yeah. Bale back. Anybody would fucking take Garrett yeah. back. No. Garrett, Garrett Bale. He'll come to the MLS. You, you heard it here, folks. He'll no. be in the MLS one day. You know where he's gonna, I think we all know where he's going to go. He's going to end up in Man U. Because that's just what they do. This is, they ruin lives. They, oh, I don't even know where that came from. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> It's not like I get off subject and look at my what I have on my fridge. <laughs> Is that the picture? Of his? No, who's the other guy? That's Sudi. Devin. Su- that's my buddy Devin Sudi. Okay. He's he went and got ready during in the morning bef- morning of the wedding. Yeah. He came, or the night before he came over, and then he got ready with us the morning of the wedding and rode in the limo to the wedding venue. I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, he had a time of his life. But no. Yeah, back to the fucking World Cup here. Yes, World Cup. Okay, here we go. Um, we covered the group of death that is supposedly kind of... There is no group of death. Uh, you know what? Okay, I'm going to get off topic here. We're going to talk a little Champs League. Can we really talk about the group of death? We're going to talk a little Champs League here. Sounds good. The group of death. Oh, here we go. The group of here death. Here we go. Tottenham fan here. Everyone says, oh, you're in the group of death. I knew Tottenham was going to make it through. Did you? Did you think they were going to finish first over Real and Dartmouth? I knew you were going to finish second, but I didn't think you were going to finish first. First. First overall. So, you know what? I don't even care if we don't make it to Champions League next year. If we win this year, don't need to make it next year. Don't give a Well, fuck. it's like fucking United. They knew they weren't going to win the league, so they focused on Europa. Won Europa. Champions League. Yeah. So, what happened? Like, this is the thing. is I'm a new, ch- I'm a new EPL fan. Relatively yeah. new. Five years Sports now. guy, Corey. Sports, Sports guy. guy. Big Sports guy. I think I know what your question is. Top three teams get a place in Champions no, League? don't care about that. I know that part. I understand that part. Oh, okay. Fourth, team, fourth place team gets to try to qualify for Champions League. Yes. Yes. No. I understand how that works. What happens if you win Champions League? You're in there next you year. Automatically. That's automatically all next year. Because Tottenham's never even come close to winning, so how am I supposed to know? Oh, it's okay. I don't give a fuck about the other teams. I hate Man U. I've always hated Man U. Even before I was a Tottenham fan, I've hated fucking Man U. It happens. We hate we have haters. I was a fan of Man U because of Dwight York. Who are you? Like he pointed me out. Are you a Man U fan? Uh yeah, and I'm also a Real Madrid fan because of Ronaldo. He's a fucking That's Ronaldo disgusting. fan. That's disgusting. Portuguese man. He's a Ronaldo You're fan. You're Portuguese. Yeah, he is Portuguese. Yeah, That's gross. Figo played for them too. So for Man U or Real? Real. Real. 
a huge Figo fan. I'm telling you, I'm just getting into. Well, I'm five years deep into soccer. I'm already famous, so I should. Yeah, this boost, kid. I should boost this podcast a bit. I was internationally famous over in Europe. He was on a fucking EPL commercial. What? I'm famous. You're famous with it. Yes, you want to see? Oh. I was in uh, the White Caps promo video. Excuse Where me. Yeah, go look on their Instagram. There. I was Who? literally White Caps face here. Of White Caps promo videos. Oh yeah, I was in a lot of them. Famous. I was in the one they showed before the games. Everyone's like, you're texting on your phone. I was like, no, I was taking a fucking, taking a Snapchat. No, it's because I told everyone you're texting on your phone. <laughs> I, was, I literally called it when, because I wasn't at the game when it aired. And I was like, I was fucking taking oh, a Snapchat. look at this. Beautiful. Is that it? Yeah, this is it. Here, Austin, you can watch this just because you haven't seen it yet. A young, a young skinny Corey. Who's that? You look cracked out. I was really skinny. <laughs> the hell is this? Fucking Barclays commercial. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I was not kidding. I legitimately had a little bit of fame. And he got to pick what team he wanted to be a fan of. Yeah, so I was on. Uh, so the, chose I was on the Umbro website one time. Nice. I, I like that. One of the questions was if you could invite anyone over to dinner, who would it be? And I said Sabrina, the teenage witch. Nice. <laughs> I got paid ten grand to do this. Yes, your parents probably spent it. No, I spent it all. I, I was a full grown adult. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> he looked like a oh, child on that. You're an adult at this point. Yeah. This is only like, this is 2013. Oh, Jesus. I was 23. How'd you find this thing? Hmm? How'd you get onto this? It was across the street from my house. A fucking street audition. <laughs> really? At my, at my wife's aunt's house, and they were like, hey, you should come over. It's like these guys casting for a sports commercial. Is that you? Yeah. Have you never seen it? Either? I know you've seen this far. Oh, I love it. Shut it off. Well, there you are. Yeah, I'm in it. Like, more than anyone else. Did they pour fake on you, or is it just No, not? it was 40 fucking degrees out, and they made us wear hoodies and goddamn jeans. Is that a bar you're in? Yeah. And they filled you're the bar. You're an ass crop, weren't you? Yeah. It's hot as shit. Where there. were you driving there? <laughs> like a 91 Ford F-150. Nice. Whereabouts? In Chilliwack? No, in Ashcroft. <laughs> oh, sweet. Man. So we went up to Ashcroft in the middle of summer. That's a cool commercial. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. So we went to Ashcroft in the middle of summer. So did you just randomly decide you wanted to be a Spurs fan? That's why I chose to be a Spurs fan. <laughs> they were like, here. Here's you, the jersey. You guys, you, guys, you guys are cheering for the Tottenham Hotspurs. So for me, I'm like, I don't know. When I get into something, I get I dive into it. Right? Yeah. I want to know. Like, I want to make sure I don't look fucking stupid. When I'm, yeah. So I did my research and I read up on the Spurs and they were like, those that. They've middle been like that middling team where they've never been great but never been terrible. What did we win the league in like 60? Uh, Realistically, I should be a Watford fan. What? Is that where uh, you're, my you're like relatives? Yeah, my relatives are all from there. My oh, grandma. They're, they're, they're in the EPL. Yeah. My uh, When I went to England, my uncle was telling me stories about Jay Demerit. Really? And oh, because he was a Watford, yeah. Like Jay Demer was a beauty, <laughs> kept us in the Premier League. Wow. <laughs> or put us in. It's funny yeah. how good he was. Yeah. Right? He comes to Vancouver and He was our first captain. He's yeah. a legend in Vancouver. Yeah, I love Jay Demer. Yeah. His shirt he took that a day photo was... of us. And I was like, like before you run off, I gotta say one thing. My uncle says how much of a legend you are and told me some stories. He's like he's bet probably told you a lot of great ones and then just walked away. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. What do we got uh, for tomorrow? Oh, we play Watford tomorrow. Tomorrow's the second of December, right? Today's the first. Yeah, tomorrow's the second. Nice. Well, the yeah. reason why I'm not in uh, Premier League as much as I should be is I don't like waking up early to watch games. Ooh, see, but this is nice early, seven a.m. It's late. That ain't so bad. Early. I'm up. My child wakes up at six thirty every morning right see, now. So. Oh, I got a, I got a nine thirty <laughs> game against Arsenal. What channel? Sportsnet World. Oh, I'm coming over. You come over. I've got it. I'm coming over. Yeah, I don't have cable. Come over, bring the laptop, we'll edit the podcast. Sounds good. Yeah, we should probably edit a lot of the rambling. We will. Okay. But also, I think it's like, the nice thing about this, and this part we're going to edit out, is this is purely organic. This is just three a guys lot of it talking, has, a lot of it and it's has been it. funny. Yeah. Maybe, Beer, booze, maybe and bros. Just, yeah, maybe just to us it's been funny, but this has been a pretty funny fucking podcast. It's been fun. Like We're almost an hour deep into this. And there's been, like, no stop in the flow. You know what the best kind of podcasts are? Four-hour podcasts. Yeah. See, I don't know four hours. I had to put my child to bed in an hour. I got to take him home. Take him home from whenever, back. whenever the wives come in. Yeah. Whenever, whenever our phone rings. Yeah. Me and Matt will keep recording. No, we'll get... <laughs> we'll film. 
Maybe we'll film a, a separate episode. See what that goes on now. Bonus episode. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> no, we Don't can't do that. I texted Matt. I'm like, so am I like a guest host or am I like an actual host with you? And he's like, no, you're just a guest. It's like, oh. Well, I mean, sucks. I said so you. I like, said cut. <laughs> you weren't cut. <laughs> We were like, uh, I told Matt I'm just gonna be here every fucking episode, so he doesn't get a choice. We'll set, I a, be here we'll too. set a date. We'll set a date to film, and then Fridays. We don't film. We're, that's we record. record. Same Fridays. You know how much easier it is to get drunk on a Friday than on a Saturday. Yeah. I'm done film on a Friday. Yeah, I can't do Thursdays. I can't do Mondays. Sarah works. Yeah. So yeah, the, you gotta drive the child the kid. is my sole, yeah, sole yeah. responsibility. But Fridays for sure. I'm done to film Fridays. Cause I can even I can even take it over. Call the phone. Oh my god! You tell me where the fuck there's a camera. Here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right there. Oh I mean, we could film it. We could. We, we, we could have video. We could go too. live. Yeah. We, yeah. YouTube. Do it. Facebook live. Yeah. Instagram live. No, cause then we'd lose we'd lose fucking attention to the actual podcast itself. Views yeah. wouldn't get as big. Yeah. If people watched it live. Five star views. Yeah. I can't stop burping though. Yeah, this is a does make you a little makes you a little. Bloated little gassy. Yeah. They're actually pretty good, though. I feel like it makes me a little more energized. Mm -hmm. It'll be good for uh, when I get home. Yeah, actually, that kid's going to be wild. Nope. So, uh, where were we? Uh, World Cup. (laughs) (laughs) I think we just gave up on that topic. (laughs) But you do look at the World Cup, and it's hard because there isn't really a lot of sexy names in there. No. So, who are you guys saying World Cup final? The Uh, World Cup final. Well, I, I a while ago I put twenty bucks on France to win it. Ew, gross. I just no, because I was just betting one day and I, oh, I lost. Stupid I lost bet. that. Remember that day Stupid bet. Tell, that me, day, tell me, tell me why. Look at their team. They had decent return. They got yeah, a good young team. Yeah, they should have won I'll the Euros. Right but now. you saw how much Portugal did that sweet, sweet defense. That sweet, sweet defense. Oh man, they played such a boring game. I enjoyed it. I bet you did. Yeah, you're fucking like you just got. No, it. I just got France back. Does. I, I had just gotten back from France. Oh, really? Yeah, and I went down and I watched. Oh, the, that's right. You watched a couple games. I watched, Alfred, no, I you? watched uh, Portugal versus Hung or Austria. Yeah, um, and you sat in the Austrian Austrian, Austrian fans. section. Why? And because uh, cheaper. I was. He I, bought a scalp ticket for 160 bucks. I was or Canadian. I was bro 15 corner mm-hmm. flag. So I nice. saw Ronaldo and Nanny streaking down that yeah, end yeah, line. That's sick, yeah. Well, I was like, well, I got chills because I saw them just doing tic tac toe passes. Yeah. And like those crosses coming in. So I sullied so hard when Ronaldo scored an offside goal. You must look like such an asshole. Well, I did. Yeah, you must have just looked like the biggest. Face painted, scarf yeah. on, the Ronaldo uh, Man U jersey. Were you by on. yourself on this trip? I was by myself. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And then uh, uh, Ronaldo, I watched him hit the post on the penalty shot, but. I cried. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Um, and they all start a couple of Australian Austrian Are people. Are you looking up the fucking oh, the France team? Yeah. Yeah. There's a You're couple a long ass time, man. Why? Well, yeah, I am. <laughs> I got distracted by. Someone I could have found it by now. Oh, I found it. Okay. Oh yeah. Like who they got? They got that. Uh... Yeah, Griezmann. Yeah. Pogba. Yeah. Conte. Yeah. Mappa. Or. Yeah, I can't. That's, that's, that's the kid's name. I cannot say that kid's name. They got Hugo, Hugo Lloris, keeper, your Tottenham goalie. Yeah, how, how good has he been lately? Fucking shit. <laughs> exactly. Fucking shit. I watched that goal. He just yeah. passed it in the just corner. Just a fucking little dribbler. move. They got Lacazette. Oh my god, group fucking age is terrible. Who's group age? Poland, Senegal, Colombia, and Japan. Jesus Christ. Like, that's just a shitty group. Yeah, it's not going to be... That's I, that one is up in the air though. You're not gonna know who's gonna come out of it. All right. So you want I can think maybe I can think maybe do you want predictions for who's gonna win or what the final's gonna be. The final and who you think's gonna win. Okay, I'll go Brazil and France now after hearing that roster, mm-hmm. and I'll go Brazil winning two one. I'm gonna say Portugal France. That's the worst. Why? Final? Why Portugal? Because I'm so biased. Just because you love. Them. Just because he's biased. And, and I want to see a Euro rematch. But let's be honest, Germany is gonna win the whole thing. No, I say I, so. I say France Germany final. France takes it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'd chalk that one in the books as a solid first podcast I'd episode. I say we uh, keep the training wheels on still for yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we did okay though. Yeah, I, 
I mean, we'll, we'll, wait. we'll find out tomorrow when we start listening back. To I mean, this. I got a little drunk. <laughs> yeah, me too. I finished. Well, we put a... Oh, shit. Well, it didn't help. I slammed that one whole glass. It's empty. Gone. My girl... Yeah, the girl... My girl is empty. Jesus. Me and Ben are going to keep drinking. I know that. Yeah, we'll keep her going. All right, so how do we sign out on this? Uh... Um... Well, I, I just just have a democracy vote. But I vote, is it really? I vote me and Corey uh, become the co-hosts. Obviously. Yeah. It's, uh, say aye for me and Corey. Aye. Aye. Oh, it's a unanimous three votes. We're in. I like it. We had that chemistry. Boys, this is going to be a great You know there's going to be one podcast, though, where Matt just signs on Wasted and goes... <laughs> yeah, just by himself. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's not talk to the other guys. Yeah, I would never on sign on by myself. They I would have know I would at least, I would at least we'll have another off. guest. We'll start off be like, this is a solo cast, so you can just unsubscribe right now if you don't want me. <laughs> unsubscribe, resubscribe yeah. next week. I would at least have another guest on here. I would never do it by myself. So, how do we sign off? Do we... When you're loon, you hit the booze. I think you gotta take a Basic. shot. Another shot of Patron? Yeah. Another shot. We started, we off, we started like we, we ended like we started. Oh, oh, exactly. Right. Though. When you're loon, you hit the booze. Cheers. Exactly, boys. Cheers, boys. But no, yeah, I'll take time to plug. We're now on all uh, social media except for Facebook. We'll get there. We're on. Uh, with beer, booze, and bros on Twitter. And you can follow me on uh, Instagram and Twitter at Nice Guy Austin. I don't remember my shit. And you'll uh, find Corey Mayhew yeah, if you, you can follow find Corey, Corey Mayhew. Mayhew. I think uh, <laughs> I think my Instagram's at Corey Mayhew. It is uh, Corey my Mayhew. My Twitter is at Corey Mayhew six zero four. Yeah, he's gonna show up. Represent BC. Yeah. Beer, booze, bros. And bros. Beer, bros, and booze. Beer, nope. brews, and bros. Whatever, Beer, just booze, and bros. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find uh, it. And can't forget the host of the show tonight, Matt's Dope. Yeah, check it out. Keep Matt's it dope, fam. Dope. Matt's Dope on Instagram and the at real the real Matt, Matt Dick. Dick on Twitter. All right, have a good night, folks. Remember, crack a cold one and keep her sleazy.